I mean, because my mom, you know, I, I'm, uh, you know, I remember so many days that, you know, she didn't want to get up and take my butt to school, but she did. So, uh, you know, for this, uh, whatever I could do to show support for her and, and Lupus LA and Adam and, and everything that he's kind of built and we've kind of put together for this night to kind of come true, uh, I'm always going to show up with support. Uh, this is an organization that's going to help you through step by step from uh, education to uh, grants to, uh, you know, the, the money for actual treatment. So I think that's a beautiful thing. Oh, bluff. You got to bluff all the way through. Fake it till you make it, right? I mean, I think I, uh, I just try not to make eye contact. I just try to act like nonchalant, like you don't care. Like, oh, yeah, all in, whatever. And then, like, kind of have a conversation. I wish I knew more about the project. Um, you know, you, you would think as Ryan Coogler is like my guy that I would like have all the, all the secrets and the scoop, but I don't know too much about this one. I'm, uh, I'm waiting around just like everybody else. I'm, I'm, I'm training again, getting back into character, uh, growing my hair out, you know, trying to do something different, a different look. So it's, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that transformation in the next couple months. I mean, this is like a, you know, I'm playing a villain character, so it's, uh, it's, um, it's kind of specific, um, multi-layered, and I'm looking forward to playing those, uh, those layers. You know, I think a lot of people who are opting out, they didn't want to vote this year, I think that's uh, not the way to handle it. Um, you know, I, I think a lot of people feel like the candidates aren't ideal, but you still have to, you know, make a decision, and I feel like Hillary is definitely the way to go. They provide their, the, the, the patients with doctors and answers and, uh, and literature and, you know, it's not just, here's some money, let's, let's, let's give it to it's a direct. researcher. Yeah. It's direct and they really help people and there's, a, you know, 24 hours a day, if you have a question, you can just call and it, it's, it's a pretty spectacular yeah, I, place. I would add to that too, one of the things, like, I, I, like he said, it's about the people, but I've been to events that don't have any media coverage and don't have any red carpet types of things where they're educating the people who actually have lupus on what their doctors can do for them and what they should look for and new, new findings and I think they're always working for it. I think it really comes down to Adam and his vision and you know I think one of the things that he's done is really kind of make it a very accessible charity and make it fun for people to come out and support it. Banned from TV in a nutshell. Uh, a bunch of really good buddies who are still on TV or in my case happen to formally be on it. Um, but ultimately I think at the end of the day the biggest thing is we get to do what we love to do which is sing songs and make music together and perform and then we give all the money that we make to our respective charities. We each have our own individual charities. Scott's always champion Lupus LA. It's so awesome to be here and be a, a part of this event and to be honored by Lupus LA. Oh yeah, I'm getting married man. In November, third time's a charm. Let's hope. What? It's true. You. I didn't want to tell you. Uh, yeah, no, it's true. Getting hitched. I'm very excited. My sister had lupus, um, and she passed away from it. And I feel like had lupus LA existed when my sister needed help, our story might have been different. So I feel like the fact that it's a local organization and it has such direct like seeable impact in this community means a lot to me. Having Michael B. Jordan involved with Lupus LA has been a real game changer for us. I think um, we've really been involved with Mike since he uh, came onto the scene and it's been amazing building a relationship with a celebrity like him. You know, as his star is on the rise, lupus awareness is on the rise right there with it. And he's so unbelievably committed and dedicated to the cause that uh, I can't think of a better celebrity ambassador for Lupus LA. You know, we've built a really good friendship and a rapport, but you know, honestly, the first thing that happened was just to help his mom. And that's what Lupus LA is all about. It's helping lupus patients and raising money for research. And that's where our friendship came out of because I think he saw what the organization meant to his mother and what we treat every lupus patient like that. And I think that um, having celebrities that really understand the impact that they can make on an organization is critical to our success.
Michael one more time? Yeah. And Michael one more time? Come on, right here. And then right there, yeah. yeah. everyone right here. <laughs> and uh, right here, please. And right next to him, Bob. Big smile. I'm squeezing hard there. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All the big names are supposed to get? They didn't walk. They showed they didn't walk. Stakes are very high right now. 